So here we are on a beautiful day in a beautiful location with a beautiful view looking out across the Conway estuary uh, towards uh, Pemamau Mountain and uh, Slavavakan in the background and as I pan around now of course we're going to speak hello it's Jean <laughs> <laughs> hi how are you Jean okay I'm very well thank you excellent David. yeah so we've um, I've come today and we're in the garden to keep in our social distancing um, and uh, accompanied by a sparrow. They live on my roof. <laughs> they live on your roof. Yes. Okay. And uh, just, just to give you the opportunity, Jean, to share uh, something of quite a remarkable story. Um, so I believe it goes back to a, a visitor that, that, where it all starts that came to Shore Hope Church. Yes, it did. Uh huh. And who who was that now? Her name was Sue. I don't know her surname. Okay. Was Sue. And uh, she's a born again Christian who lives down near Bristol, and she's a, a lovely, lovely Christian. And she can't, used to come and visit her mother, who lived in the flats next door to me. Okay. And she came to Shore Hope Church. So that was some while ago, in, initially. Yes, years ago. Yes. Oh, years ago. Yeah, that's right. Yes, because she was, uh, uh, Bob was quite, quite friendly with her, wasn't he? Yes, you he know, was. He yes, stuck up a friendship, that's good. Okay, so then zooming forward a few years, and we come to our last service in, in Shore Hope Church, when we were all to ga gathered together. Do you want to say a little bit about what happened there? Yes. Um, as the service began, uh, we, and we'd had the, the um, praise and worship session, and the music, and then... Um, Ivan, I think it was, said if anybody wanted to be anointed um, about this, <laughs> not yeah. having the, co what do you call it, the virus, Yes. Uh -huh. um, come forward, starting with the over 70s. Well, I fit very well into that bracket, so I went forward and Ivan anointed me on the forehead and um, that was that. Church finished. I okay. came home. So that was a prayer for protection. That's right, David. An anointing for protection. And of course, we've been encouraging everybody from Sure Hope to, to read and quote Psalm uh, 91 um, every day, haven't we? We have. No, no plague shall come near our dwelling. That's right. And uh, so that was a, a powerful morning. And I know a lot of people went forward in the end, didn't they? They did. To, to be prayed over. I should think everybody. I think they did in the end, wasn't it? Yes. So it was a powerful morning when everybody was anointed and prayed that God would bring protection over them and their household. Yes. And uh, of course, as I say, Psalm 91. So now Jean comes home and then what happens then, Jean? After lunch, I went to visit my friend who lives in the flats next door. Um, and I must have spent well, I think I spent about two hours with her because I was there most of the afternoon. Her name was Dillis. And um, she is the mother of the lady from Bristol who comes to Shore Hope when she's here. And uh, I was talking to Dillis all afternoon, but she was coughing now and again. She said, I'm just tired because her sister had recently died and she'd seen to all that has to be done then. And she just said, I'm tired anyway after couple of hours I left uh, and I always gave her a hug and a kiss when I left because she we were good friends and uh, I tried to phone her either that later that week or the following week and couldn't get a reply and I decided that she had probably gone back to um, Brussels with her daughter but then I tried again and Helen, the daughter, answered the phone and I, I, she said to me, Jean, you haven't heard about Mother? I said, no, I've been trying to get in touch with her. She said she's been in Glencluid last week and she's now died of the uh, virus. Wow, wow. And I'd been with her all that Sunday afternoon. Jean, that's astonishing, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. God. Yeah. How wonderful. 
so the, in the morning you were prayed and anointed her and prayed over her and yes. came home and went to her, her, her little flat which is just next door yes and, and there we are you were in a small room with her for two hours yes while she was coughing and bless her she passed away a few days later she did well 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 very quickly very very sad i was <laughs> yes of course yeah mm -hmm. yeah well gene that's a remarkable testimony isn't it Oh, God, God is good. He's amazing. Yes, amen. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, and I'd say it's so good for you to be able to share that today. And uh, thank you, David. Thank you so much. I pray that will be an encouragement to to many in the church today, um, as as we hear what God has done there, because that is quite exceptional, isn't it? It is. Basically. It is. Yeah. He answered our prayers. Yes. He's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Thank and you. I love him. <laughs> yes, amen. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Jean. God bless you. Thank you, David. Thank you.